In 1832, the Bank of the State of Alabama built a beautiful Greek temple on the northwest corner of St. Francis and Royal Streets in downtown Mobile. The upper floor originally held dormitory space for the tellers. The tellers in those days were young men. The idea was that they could leave a trap door open during the night. If they heard someone break in to try to get in the vault below, they could sound the alarm. In 1865, another bank took over the space, the First National Bank of Mobile. This is where that venerable old bank was established in 1865. The upper floors at that point became home to the Manassas Club. The Manassas Club was a very uh, elite social organization, and they would be in operation in Mobile until the 1920s. And in the uh, 1890s and 1900s, it became the Zimmern Building, a uh, coal company owned the building, and then a real estate concern owned it. In the years around World War I, Jason Malbus, better known for Malbus in Baldwin County, obtained the building for his restaurant. Rather than use the beautiful lobby with its ornate plaster and marble work, he decided to tear the side of the building off and face his restaurant out onto St. Francis Street. When his workmen were called in to remove the green marble mantles in the lobby, they removed them using sledgehammers and smashed them to bits. The building survived until 1929 when Mr. Malbus got the great idea that he'd build a 33-story hotel and office building on this site. The wreckers came, tore the building down, then there was no money to fund such an ambitious plan. The corner stood vacant as a parking lot until 1939 when the current building was built to house the offices of the Gulf Mobile and Ohio Railroad. The building has been vacant for some time but is undergoing renovation as first class office space today. By the way, the capitals off those columns of the Bank of the State of Alabama, two of them found their way to Bellingrath Gardens where they hold plants to this day. Thank you.